privacy and kids privacy go on um <coughs> my phone has just woke up to tell me about youtube privacy thank you google i'm sure i'm supposed to say okay google stop it Shh. um wall street journal i think broke this a while ago but it kind of went away and i, I i'm amazed that it went away uh, have you heard of Project Nightingale? Oh yes, um, yeah. The, the 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 well, this was a couple of years ago. They said they wanted to get into healthcare, and everyone went, "Oh, that's brilliant," because uh, they wanted to make affordable insurance, didn't they? Mm. And then it and then it went quiet for a while, and then and then yeah, this broke, didn't it? That you're about to tell me. Yeah, well, <laughs> they'd arranged with this company um, called Ascension, which apparently is the second largest healthcare provider in the US to get hold of the medical records of 50 million people for Google. Honest, it's just it's just for insurance. Google, fuck off, stop waking up. It's just for insurance. <laughs> Google said, I don't know, maybe I can help you with something else, smiley face. Um, now, apparently, creepy, not creepy, maybe. It gets creepier, though, when you find out that None of the patients or doctors were asked. No. Or it was... notified that this was going to happen. And it gets better. So far, 10 million of those records have already been transferred to Google. Now, the usual um, modus operandi for this would be to, to strip out the personal information. Mm. Uh, I think it's called depersonalizing or something like that. Strip it out so that you can't be recognized. Hasn't happened. Google employees have access to the fucking medical records of 10 million people. Can you imagine what's contained in your medical records? The value of that data? I know. I know. Hey, Who you thing. are, where you live, how old you are, your life yeah. expectancy, what, what medication you might be on. Think of what they've got. And this whole story, because it only came, I don't even know what flagged it up again. I think it was a whistleblower's come out, a Google employee gone, we can see all this shit. Yeah, yeah, we've just been we've just been collecting it. It's like, no, that's not what we thought you meant when you said you were getting in the health insurance yeah. game. Yeah. It was supposed to be affordable insurance for the masses. It well, was, you know. It's turned out to be a lucrative advertising opportunity. <laughs> Go figure. Yeah. I will, I will say, though, that there's another side to this, though. Like, in terms of the data analysts and, you know, the algorithmic ability of Google and Amazon, because they're involved with this as well, like, they could... The, there's, there's a potential future where they could very, very efficiently um, be able to detect, you know... Uh, issues in you you know if you if you your eating changes your sleeping changes like you could literally get a thing off google saying mate i think there's something seriously wrong with you here looking at your family history you might have ass cancer there's a good chance you gotta get down there now and check it out so th there is actually a potential there for because they can already tell when women are pregnant before women know there's, um, there's more potential for them to sell you shit but yeah, yeah. Well, of course. But that's the thing. But it, it's the fact that this hasn't been done in any way, in any consensual manner whatsoever. No, just took you know, it. Just it's took like it. it's kind of like the medical advances that were made by Nazis doing experiments <laughs> on Jews. You know yeah. what I mean? Like we learned a lot. We did actually. And we kind of, you know, when we're standing on the shoulders of giants, some of those giants were bad people, man. <laughs> really bad people. But and I, I kind of feel like we're there now with this. But the but it's just so authoritarian it's and so terrifying. dirty 